many of my friends are not really into politics. Me and my roommate are, um, especially with this. So what we do is we take the time. Um, I pull up videos for us to watch um, from different sources to kind of get educated on the situation. We watch the debates, we watch um, campaign pieces, um, and different perspectives of different people. And I take the time to educate myself on it and how, to, how I feel about it. Um, a lot of my friends, um, they didn't really want to vote this year, but I've convinced a couple of them in being able to vote. And pretty much my conversation with them is like, what's the worst thing that could happen? Like best case scenario, you actually get to have a voice in America. And worst case scenario, you're just stuck on the sidelines. And you're, cause a lot of my friends, like they complain about politics and they complain about like current issues. But it's like, what's the point in complaining if you, if you, yeah, if you, if you have the opportunity to do something about it, then if you don't take the opportunity, then there's no point in you even having a say in anything. Okay, I'm encouraging my friends uh, to vote by asking them to make themselves uh, in, be informed by watching all the news, you know, because nowadays you, every news uh, outlet are reporting about unemployment and they're reporting what's going on with Congress, with this uh, nomination process for the Supreme Court. And I also ask them to, to uh, check out their, their lives. I mean, if, if, if uh, especially now that we have this pandemic, uh, they're affected by this pandemic. Is their jobs affected by this pandemic? So I try to make them aware what's going on in the country. And then as soon as they got the idea, then I tell them that's the reason why you need to participate and, and vote. I haven't had to encourage my friends to vote, but I definitely have had conversations with them about, you know, your vote does matter. You're not just throwing it away. Please don't vote third party, stuff like that. You know, I just have conversations with them about how voting is not a joke. You know, people make jokes about voting for Harambe back in 2016. It's not a joke. For some of us, this is, you know, real life, this is life or death um, situation. So I just try to help people understand that voting is seriously something that you need to do. And if you're gonna do it, please just actually take in consideration the people that it's going to affect. I really take time to talk to my friends about, you know, what they believe, because I love perspective. I really value just understanding, even if they don't agree with me, like what, where they're coming from, why they believe what they do. Um, and just relaying to them that, although I may not agree with you, um, I, hope that you vo voice your opinions and vote because if you are so passionate about something I feel like you should see that it is represented in your in your favor. UCA College Republicans is very active in our state uh, elections as well as some of our local elections. Um, a lot of our members including myself have been doing door knocking and um, phone banking, text banking, things like that for a lot of our local candidates, our state candidates and um, for like JP, uh, we've worked a lot with French Hill in his election and also with um, just a lot of our state representatives and state senators as well. So we make sure that all of our members are aware of when early voting has started, um, where their polling places are, and we make sure that they get their friends involved as well because it is important for everybody to vote and be as involved as they can in their communities that they live in.